Hey guys, Checkmate Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, we have the brand new River 2 Max, and we just did a detailed review on this. But there's always the question, what is the difference between the River Max and the River 2 Max? And that's what we're looking to answer today for you. We are going to be going over these in detail, right? How long do the batteries last? What's the power capability? How big are the batteries in these units? What's the solar capability, the warranty? You know, you could see the design change, but there's a whole lot more. Why don't we go ahead and check this out and get started? Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, you can pause this to review it. It's a simple slide, but this is what we're going to go over today. Cost differences. Which one has more power? The battery types in these units, the advantages and disadvantages. Which one of these will run my devices longer? Which battery will actually last longer throughout its lifetime? Is solar charging the same? Do any of these have remote control? meaning that you could actually control this using the internet and Wi-Fi? What about weight differences, warranty differences, unique features, and what's included with these power stations? Well, let's check this out. Let's take a moment and just take a look at the design differences. So one of the differences you'll notice is the River Max has a handle and a little spot you could put something if you need to down here but you can't put anything on top of the unit. It, like, you know, if you wanted to put a box or something. Now, as you can see, the River 2 Max does have a flat surface and they still have a handle and it's right there in the back. And I'll go over weight, but this is actually lighter than this unit. So that's a difference. Now, screens are very similar. This one has a blue color ring and this one doesn't. But other than that, they both give you the input, the output, the charge time, the discharge time, and your battery percentage. And that is key. All right. They both give you a car charger. They both give you AC outlets, USB Type-C. We'll go into some of the differences here. You do get a light with the River Max. So it's something that you don't get with the River 2 Max. Now, AC outlets, as you can see, are in the front on the River 2 Max. Over here, they're on the side. All right, that's a big difference there. But as far as plugging in solar and charging the unit, there is a panel here. So you get your overload protection, you get your XT60, and you also get your you know spot here to basically put your plug in. Again, no big AC bricks with any of these two. You know, EcoFlow has done a really good job with that. Now, if you notice with the River 2 Max, you got your plug here and you've got your XT60 here. So this is for solar and this is for car charging. Now, let me take a moment and show you another cool feature with the River Max. Now, one cool feature on the River Max is you can take the battery off. You can make the unit lighter. It still has the same power. It just has a little smaller battery. Let's now go over what you get in the box. So let's start off with the River Max. And the River Max comes with your AC cord, your DC barrel plug, your solar cables, and a car charge cable, and of course your manual. Now the River 2 Max comes with your AC cord, it comes with a car charger, it comes with your manual, your DC barrel plugs, and it does not come with a solar cable anymore. All right, now let's start to go over basics and specs and really start to compare. So the River Max MSRP is $599 and it is on sale very often. 
The MSRP on the River 2 Max is $499. The power capability on the River Max is 600 watts and it surges to 1200 watts. The River 2 Max is 500 watts and it surges to 1000 watts. Now they're both pure sine wave, so that means they're going to give you the cleanest power possible. They both have EPS mode, right? It's kind of like a UPS, but it's not as fast. And they're both 30 milliseconds or less. Let's go ahead and spend some time and go over battery type, and this is really important. So the River Max has a lithium ion battery. And the River 2 Max now has a lithium iron phosphate battery. Huge difference. Okay. Battery capacity. This uh, River Max is 576 watt hours. And the River 2 Max is 512 watt hours. So just a little bit less here. Now here's the big deal. Life cycles. The River Max is 500 cycles and then it goes to 80% plus. The River 2 Max, 3,000 life cycles, and then it goes to 80%. Is that something? And by the way, charging these, AC recharge time is 1.6 hours to get to 100% on the River Max. And it's only an hour to get to 100%. This is 38% faster charging. Again, some people love that, right? Let's now talk about ways to charge. So the River Max, you have three ways you can charge it. You can charge it AC, you can charge it DC, meaning your car charger, and you can also charge it via solar. Now, the River 2 Max, you have four ways you can charge it. So you can charge it AC, you can charge it DC with a car charger, you can also charge it via solar, and now, you can charge it with a USB. This is a Type-C 100 watt USB in and out. And in a moment, I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll demonstrate it. Now let's take a moment and go over just some of the USB ports and the DC ports real quick. So on the River Max, you've got two USB Type-A, which are 12 watt. On the River 2 Max, you've got three, which are 12 watt. Now on the River Max, you also have a quick charge, which is 18 watts. And you don't have any quick charge over here on the River 2 Max. But you do have the USB Type-C 100 watt, which is a quick charge, right? It's 100 watts in and out. And of course, the River Max has a hundred watt, but it's only an out. Now concerning car charging, the River Max car charger would be about 96 watts because it's a 12 volt 8 amp. And the car charger on the River 2 Max is a little higher now. It's about 126 watts. It's a 12.6 volt 10 amp max. Of course, you still get the barrel plugs as well. And the barrel plugs on the River Max are 13.6 volt 3 amp, so about 40 watts. And you get two also on the River 2 Max. These are 36 watts and they're 12.6 volt 3 amp. So the barrel ports aren't as strong on this unit as they are on this unit. But it's interesting because the car charger on this one is actually more powerful at 126 watt versus 96 watts. All right, so that is the difference. Let's go ahead and plug in the USB Type-C and check that out as how you can charge the River 2 Max using the USB Type-C. So the demonstration I'm gonna be doing is with an Amazon Power Brick. Now what I like about this is it has a 65 to 100 watt on the top. It's got an 18 watt Type-C and then it's got two 12 watt USB type A's. So not bad. All right, I'll put a link in the description, but let me plug this in and show you how I could actually charge the River 2 Max using this 100 watt type C port. So charging with the USB type C is pretty simple. The unit is off. 
I'm going to put this in and it's going to recognize it pretty quickly. The unit is 82% charged and in a moment it'll actually start to show you some of the wattage coming in. We should get pretty close to 100 watts. There you go, look at that, 95 watts coming in, USB Type-C. That's pretty cool. That's just a quick demonstration of one of the new features. Let's go over solar. So solar on the River Max is 200 watts, 10 to 25 volt, 12 amp, and the River 2 Max is 220 watts, 11 to 50 volt. So they, they upped that, right? So it's 11 to 50 volt, 13 amp. So that's good to know. All right, let's take a moment and talk about connectivity. So the River Max has Wi-Fi and the River 2 Max has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, what's the advantage to this having Bluetooth? There are people that don't have Wi-Fi and might want to do firmware updates to help improve the unit. And when you have Bluetooth, you can also control the unit within a local range, right? But both of these, by the way, because they have Wi-Fi, you can actually control them remotely through the internet via Wi-Fi, which is a nice feature. You just have to download the EcoFlow app. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's talk about weight now. So the River Max is 17 pounds or 7.7 kilogram. The River 2 Max is 13.4 pounds or 6.1 kilograms. And that is about 30% lighter right? So you get a battery that lasts longer and you're getting a lighter unit and only a small difference in battery capacity. Now, what about warranties? Well, the River Max has a two-year warranty. Because the River 2 Max has a newer battery that can last for years and years, as long as you maintain it, you're now getting a five-year warranty with that unit. So that's pretty cool. By the way, if you want a smaller unit like the River 2, I did a comparison video from the original River and the new River 2, as you can see on the screen. If you want, click the image in the upper right-hand corner right now, and it'll take you to the video. If not, I'll put the link in the description. So let's answer some questions like I announced in the beginning of the video. So if I was running devices and appliances, which one of these would last longer? Well, the River Max has a slightly bigger battery, 576 watt hours, right? Compared to 512 watt hours. So the River Max would run just a little longer, not much. So don't make that the decision. Now, what about the lifetime of the battery? Well, as you know, 500 cycles versus 3000 is a big difference. And that means this will last years longer than this. And especially if you maintain the battery. And let me just tell you, never leave your power station at zero or a hundred for a long period of time. If you're going to store your battery power station, you probably want to be around 30 to 40% if it's going to sit for like a month or so. But keep in mind, every couple of months, you have to cycle these batteries also. So learn a little bit more about lithium or lithium iron phosphate. Well, guys, short and sweet, and I sure hope you found the video helpful. And by the way, if you have questions, definitely ask me them in the comments, okay? And if this video helped you in any way, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. I'd love to have you as a new family member. Also, share our video with your friends, your families, and if you're in any chat rooms, and follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Guys, thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much. 
and have a wonderful day.